The Department of Public Health and Human Services is pleased to bring you Aging Horizons. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, Fraud, Legal Issues, Veterans Benefits and Caregiving. Aging Horizons is a program dedicated to inform and prepare Montanans on these timely issues, making a difference to you and your loved ones. Here now is today's program host. Hi folks and welcome to Aging Horizons. On today's show we'll be talking about Medicare again. Yes, we're about three months into the new Medicare year and maybe you haven't looked at what Medicare has been doing for you or your plan. Is it the plan that you wanted? Is it the plan that you're getting? Uh, what are some of the issues with it? Is it the same cost? We'll be talking about that and a lot more so stay tuned. Did you just text me? I didn't want to disturb you if you were sleeping. Sleeping? I'm sitting right next to you, silly. There you are. Hey, I found a couple of Medicare helping programs online that I think we ought to look into. Hmm. It says if we qualify, we can get help paying for our prescription drugs. Oh, and there's a program that can help pay our Part B premium. To learn more about extra help and Medicare savings programs, call your local SHIP counselor today. Maybe I better text him. I was outside working on some equipment, nothing too strenuous. I started sweating and feeling out of breath. When he felt pressure in his chest and aching in his arms, I knew we had to call 911. First responders were there before we knew it. 30 minutes later, the doctors had restored the blood flow to my heart. Now we know dialing 911 saved his life. Your life is on the line. This message sponsored by Mission Lifeline Montana. Elder abuse is a growing problem, and it's happening right here in our Montana communities. At least one in ten older adults are victims of physical or emotional abuse, financial exploitation, or neglect. To get help or report elder abuse, call your local area agency on aging or Adult Protective Services at 1-844-277-9300. Sometimes the difference between having the life-saving medications you need and going without is the premium on your Medicare drug insurance. If you are a Montana resident enrolled in the Medicare Prescription Drug Program, you may be eligible to receive help with your premiums, even if you own your home or other assets or think you may have too much income. Call or visit the Big Sky RX website today to find out if you qualify. There you go, ma'am. See you next month. Thank you. Hi folks, welcome to Aging Horizons, brought to you by the Department of Public Health and Human Services. I'm your host, Brian Lamore, and as I mentioned, we'll be talking about Medicare today. We're about three months into the new plans that you signed up for prior to January 1st, and we want to talk about them. Are they uh, meeting your needs, expectations, and what you thought you signed up for? Of course, we have a wonderful expert here. We have Kimmy Everman, your Special Projects Coordinator, and uh, welcome to your show. Thank you. <laughs> and you know, we always start at the top. There's Medicare A, B, C, and D. Let's uh, baseline it and let everybody know uh, what those plans are. Yeah, because I think um, I really want to. I really want to let folks know that um, I've always said that Medicare is such a great value. It mm -hmm. continues to be oh, a yes. great value. Um, you get your Part A, uh, and that covers inpatient services, um, uh, skilled nursing facility services, like in rehab and things, not just to you know, live in the nursing home, but uh, for rehab and things, um, home health care and hospice. Uh, and in 2019, if you if you were going to pay for uh, Part A, you'd be paying $437 a month. And in 2020, 458. Mm not that big of a rise yeah. and barely anyone has to pay a premium for part a because that comes when you work 10 years when yeah. you have full-time uh, work for the the 10-year stretch then you get your part a at no premium and that's Gosh. that's to thank you for all the, the your service that you've done that's money in your pocket exactly exactly <laughs> um it, there is a fourteen hundred dollar deductible fourteen hundred uh eight dollar deductible with part a so if you're going to the hospital and things like that those are some costs that you can expect um if you wanted to know more about the changes in the cost of hospital days and things go to medicare.gov go to medicare your handbook yeah. um talk to a ship counselor 
counselor. Uh, that will give you all that information that we don't really want to dive too deeply yeah. into today. Um, then part B is uh, your outpatient uh, coverage and it's going to cost you in 2020 uh, $144.60 a month. And that is really only um, sorry. <laughs> that that's only th about thirteen dollars. It was one hundred and thirty-five fifty last year. Yeah. So we're talking. Medicare yeah. is doing a great job of holding prices at, at bay, mm -hmm. price rate uh, increases, but giving such good value yes. and such good services. So um, just want folks to be aware of that. Um, and when you have um, original Medicare, you're going to have a deductible. This mm -hmm. year it's $198. Uh, last year it was $185. Yeah, I mean, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Um, so you're, you know, you're paying a little out of pocket there if you are an original. Um, also, if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, you may have um, a different type of premium. It all mm -hmm. depends on the plan you buy, and hopefully you looked into that okay. um, before you signed on the line okay. for this now, year. Now, that's Medicare C, right? and that you go to other in outside insurance companies to get that that's coverage, right. and you have choices for different uh, levels of benefits with it and cost. Exactly. So. And a um, couple of things about those Medicare Advantage plans. One, you know, we have a approximately 60 million people across the United States that are on Medicare. A third of them are in these Medicare Advantage plans right now. Yeah. So they must be doing something right. I always say yeah. it may be for you, it may not, but at least take a look. Yes. Um, one of the things about the MAs or the Medicare Advantage plans also is that they're seeing slight decreases in premiums oh, and, oh. and different costs. And, and I'm not saying huge. Yeah. It didn't seem that way when I was researching, but they can say for some things, there's the prices are coming down. Mm -hmm. Might be a way for you to save some money and get the services that you need. Yes. Um, and then we have Part D, of course, which is our, um, our prescription drug coverage. Um, it, it's in 2020 about the average plan is costing $32 a month. Yeah, average. That's not, bad. Um, not at all. Uh, the deductible is $435. Um, not every plan has a deductible. They mm -hmm. may not, but they can deduct up to, or they can have the deductible up to $435. Okay. Um, you're going to have. Um, you know, your initial coverage period, uh, and in 2020, that ends after you've accumulated 400, excuse me, $4,000 in total drug mm -hmm. costs. Um, you know, I think the donut hole is, um, it's, it, it really isn't there, but it is there. And so I guess <laughs> I, I would prefer that folks, if they want to know about the donut hole or the coverage gap, to call their local ship counselor mm -hmm. and talk with them about it. Um, it's such a complicated issue and I yeah. always have trouble with it myself. Mm -hmm. So I think it's one of those one-on-one -on -one conversations that, that needs to be done. Have. Once you once you reach 4,000 and you hit that semi-hole. Exactly. Guess, we'll and you know we've all heard that that donut hole was going to be closed by 2020 but there are it, you just need to find out yeah. where you're at with it right. um, and, and kind of go from there. And um, once you hit that catastrophic level, which is $6,300 out of pocket expense, um, you're paying 5%. Now, most people don't get there, or if they do, they get there in just the last few months of the year. Yeah. Uh, but it's a nice, nice way of making sure that if you put that much out of pocket for meds, that you have a, a, a safety net someplace. Right, yeah. And in December, get your prescriptions refilled into exactly. the next year and they're covered. Yeah, so Exactly right. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've drawn to a close quickly on this first segment mm -hmm. here. Uh, but for our viewers, you know, we've gone through, we've discussed the ABCDs of Medicare, uh, the C being kind of the private insurance that you had the option to go into to cover maybe some of the deductibles and other issues and get different benefits than what you're offered in the regular Medicare plan. Now, as we're three months into the year, you might want to be evaluating your plan. We're going to talk about that and so much more. Where do you start? Well, we know, so stay tuned. <laughs> Mm 
No one likes to have to ask for help. It's a courageous act. Sarah Solomon, Energy Share Coordinator. Our clients work hard, sometimes at two or even three jobs, but still struggle to keep the heat on. They're doing everything they can. They're proud and they don't give up. I feel inspired and honored to work together with these Montana families. To donate, call 888-779-7589 or go to EnergyShareMT.com. Energy Share, you can help your neighbor stay warm. If the Aging Network in Montana was a restaurant, the sign out front would say over 50 million meals served over the last 30 years. Since adequate nutrition is critical to health and quality of life, nutrition services are an important factor in keeping older Montanans healthy, independent, and living in their community and home. To find out more about senior nutrition programs in your area, call 1-800-551-3191. Here in Montana, we love our outdoor activities. Unfortunately, few of them are risk-free. Indeed, Montana is second in the nation per capita in head injuries that can destroy the lives of people we love. That's why you should insist your family always wear protective helmets. But you can do even more. When you fill out your vehicle registration this year, circle the Y and donate a dollar to support traumatic brain injury prevention and education. Now that's using the old noggin. With as many as 1 in 10 Americans at risk for Alzheimer's or some other form of dementia, chances are someone you know and love will receive that diagnosis. When that happens, you may well feel devastated, but know that you are not alone. Help is available. You don't have to face dementia by yourself. Call the free 24-7 Alzheimer's Association helpline, 800-272-3900, for guidance and support. Hi folks, welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host Brian Lamore. In our last segment we discussed what all the different uh, programs are under uh, Medicare, A, B, C, and D. And in this segment we're going to talk about some of the decisions that were made uh, prior to December 31st when you chose your new plan. Now Kimmy, there were some issues and challenges mm -hmm. that came up prior mm -hmm. to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So this part of the year you might be able to change your plan. Can you tell us some of the issues there? Sure. Well, you know, Brian, I, I think it's really important that Medicare beneficiaries understand that they they occasionally have the right to switch mid-year if they need mm -hmm. to. If something isn't working correctly for them, um, they may not have to wait until every annual enrollment. Yeah. Now, one thing that happened in in the the annual enrollment that just end, ended was some folks reported getting information on the plan finder that that they don't think was correct. Mm -hmm. Now. If that happened to a person, that means you are gonna have to live with that all year unless you take a step. Yeah. So here's the step to take. If you think you're that person, that you didn't get good information from the plan finder and you wanna see what you can be doing about that, you wanna call 1-800-MEDICARE. Mm -hmm. And you wanna talk to them about what, what happened to you and what you're seeing as consequence. Uh, and they have said that they will look case by case at anyone mm -hmm. who calls. Mm -hmm. But you gotta call 1-800-MEDICARE and talk to one of the folks there. Yeah. Um, usually I would say just call your ship counselor right away and if you want to get more details or, or more information, definitely call your ship counselor first. Yeah. But they're not the ones that can get you that special enrollment period. Right. You have to do it, you have to call and, and um, talk to the folks there. So that's pretty important and you know, um, good for Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for stepping up mm -hmm. and allowing people to do that because then they don't get caught in something terrible for a year. Yeah, exactly. Right? Um, there's other times that people have uh, opportunities to change coverage as well. Uh, big one is the Medicare Savings Program that we've talked mm. many mm -hmm. times about yes. here. And that is um, a program that if, you are, if you're eligible, it's going to pay your uh, Medicare premium. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of different levels in that uh, program. So you may get a fuller benefit or a less full benefit but you still may be eligible and it's a it's a great great program right. um, that pays that 
Medicare premium every month and frees up that money for a person to do whatever else yes. they need to do. Yeah. Very important, okay? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then the next very important um, spe oh, special enrollment is if you get extra help mm -hmm. or low-income subsidy, another uh, program we've talked about here many, many times. Yeah. And it's to help a person with their Part D costs. Yeah. Remember, Part D is the uh, drug. prescription drug co uh, coverage and um, always, you know, can be dicey for folks because mm -hmm. you just never really know what you're going to be taking throughout a year. Or yeah. maybe you do and it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, maybe you do and it's hardly anything at all. Yeah. I want to say those folks don't don't just not get a plan. Right. Um, it's it's important that people have the backup of that medication plan through Medicare. Uh, even if they don't take meds now, it could it could happen in a yeah. heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, and if you don't have that plan in place, um, you may find that you're getting um, penalties yeah. then from Medicare. Oh. So we want you to to definitely look at the the extra help or the low income subsidy, and that is another just great great program where pays lots of costs for mm -hmm. deductibles and premiums and mm -hmm. um, you know different drugs that that are, are costly they may help with mm -hmm. um, so it's just really a good program oh, yeah. and if you want to get into either extra help or the low income or the um, Medicare savings program you can sign up for that any month you want oh. So it isn't that okay. you have to sign up during open enrollment for those. Right. So let's just say for a moment that you signed up in um, open enrollment and you just really don't like your plan, but you know, it's mm. not, there's nothing that they're going to do about that at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. Right. If you become eligible at that point for extra help or the, low income, or the uh, Medicare Savings Program, that gives you mm -hmm. an extra, what we call the Holy Grail, which is the SEP special enrollment period. Yeah. So there's two times, two more times that you get a bite at the apple if uh -huh. if something needs to be changed. And then once you're on those programs, you get more opportunities to switch throughout the year yeah. uh, if you if you decide that you need to do that. Um, if you're a if you're a beneficiary of Medicare and Medicaid Another, um, if, if you're having really a lot of trouble um, staying on top of the medical bills and such, and, and if you are low income, look into the Medicaid. It'll yeah. help. Yeah. And, you know, when we, <clears throat> when we talk about these programs, Kimmy, you know, I, sometimes people can go online and they can see if they're eligible for a program. Mm -hmm. But we're talking four or five programs here. Well, they think they're ineligible for one, so they... Yeah. think they're ineligible for all of them but we have help that's the important mm -hmm. thing it does get a little complicated during the year things change on you uh, talk to someone who knows and we absolutely. have them all over God, right absolutely tell me more about them Brian you know you hit it on the head <clears throat> don't just sort of suffer in silence and don't just think there's nothing you can do I never say that we will you know that we're gonna yeah. create a miracle right. but you can look into getting some assistance and maybe we can assist you with something else right and that's why why um, I, I, we want to put that number up for our ship counselors and remind them, as you like to say, they have nothing to sell. Yeah. They're simply your advocate. They right. want to give you information and information only. They will not make a, a decision for you, mm -hmm. but they will help you yeah. with the information you need to make a good decision. decision. Well, they're the experts. They really they know it, and they're there to help you at no cost. Right. And you just have to call the 800 exactly. number. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you probably even okay. know your ship, your ship counselor. Right. They're local. They're folks that have worked in communities okay. yep. forever. Okay, well, we'll be right back in a few, <laughs> a few moments. Stay tuned. <laughs> when I stopped showing up, Jim showed up at my door. He took me to the hospital in town to get me help. That's the day Jim saved my life. Everyone has a role to play in preventing suicide. Know the signs and don't be afraid to speak up. If someone you know is in crisis or emotional distress, the only wrong thing to say is nothing at all. Call 800-273-TALK or text MT to 741-741. 
Questions about Medicare and other types of insurance? Contact the State Health Insurance Assistance Program Office to get answers to questions like, what is the difference between Medicare and Medicaid? And how do you decide if you need Medicare supplemental insurance? This insurance counseling program is not a sales program. It is available to provide answers to your insurance questions. For more information, call the State Health Insurance Assistance Program Office at 1-800-332-2272. I have so many questions about power of attorney. Well, some powers of attorney are for finances and others are for healthcare decisions. A power of attorney designates an agent who would make decisions on your behalf. While making a power of attorney, you have the ability to control your agent's power. You also have the ability to decide when that POA would take effect. Wait, am I giving away all my rights? Power of attorney isn't a license to make any decision for you, just those that you've specified. Your agent should be somebody that's working in your best interest, but it should also be somebody that you would trust. What if they try to abuse their power? Protective measures like third-party accounts secondary signatures, defined spending and gifting limits can help protect against financial exploitation. An agent's powers can always be limited by a customized power of attorney, and they can be revoked by you or the court if the power of attorney is abused. So carefully drafted estate planning documents can help ensure that your finances are monitored, but not abused. If you or someone you know is being exploited, please report to Aging Services Bureau at 844-277-9300 or the legal service developer at 1-800-332-2272. This message sponsored by the DPHHS Aging Service Bureau. Hi folks, welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host, Brian Lamore. And in our last segment, we were talking about some special programs that are available to individuals, which you can find out about, well, either online or hopefully with one of our uh, SHIP counselors. But Kimmy, we left one out. And we did. Big and Sky RF. It is uh, such an important one because it's a homegrown program. This yeah. is a Montana program yeah. for Montana beneficiaries, Medicare beneficiaries, called Big Sky RX. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of the Big Sky RX program, in my mind, is that they don't look at assets and all that kind of thing. They look at your the, at your income, mm -hmm. um, and it's a higher income that you can have than some of the some of the other programs that we've talked mm -hmm. about today. So it. It allows for another sort of level of income folks who still struggle, but have a little bit more yeah. um, to get some kind of an, uh, uh, assistance. Yeah. And the Big Sky RX, what they do is they pay for the Part D premium each month. So that's the, uh, the medication coverage. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a, a standard. Of, I don't know what, they, uh, what it is for 2020, but they'll pay up to $33, $34 somewhere we're in there mm -hmm. um, for that monthly premium. And so, you know, especially for folks that don't take meds, what a beautiful yeah. program to be on. Don't have to pay a thing, mm -hmm. um, but you're covered if you do need them. Right. So, um, and I think uh, we can put up their number. They have a 1-800 number or maybe better than that, yeah. go to your SHIP counselor. Yes. Yeah. Because they, they know it all yep. and they can they help do. you and they can uh, look at the other programs also. But now, Kimmy, this year, we had some changes to the Medigap mm -hmm. insurance. Uh, can you detail that for us? Yeah. Um, the the Medigaps, um, C, Plan C and Plan F, are no longer taking new enrollees. As mm -hmm. of the 1st of January, you couldn't enroll in a C or an F plan. Um, the reason being that those were plans that didn't have deductibles, and Congress feels that people need to have what we've always referred to as skin in the game. So no. you pay a little bit, and it makes you more responsible, responsible. with your use, Keeping I guess. That, down, yeah. Least, yeah, that's how, how Congress sees it. So those two programs, if you have those already, if you have one of those already, CRF, you, you want to definitely talk to that company and make sure you know what's going to happen mm. you'll be grandfathered for the most part so you don't lose mm -hmm. that yeah. just no new but no new uh, folks can come into the pro to the plan so yeah. you want to know what's going on with that um, you know I, I think it's um, you know, Medigaps only go along with original Medicare, so not everybody has one. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you definitely want to talk to the ship counselors and find out if there are any changes in those that have consequences for you. Right. Well, now, Kimmy, we've mentioned a lot, uh, talk to your SHIP counselor. What kind of information do you want to have already when you give them a call so they're not saying, I'm going to run and get this? Yeah. Well, um, you want to have... Um 
your full name, hopefully you have that, <laughs> um, and it, it's your full name based on what, how you receive things from Social Security. Right. Um, that's what we want to go by. That's our standard. So, and you want your Social Security number. Um, hopefully, you've gotten your new Medicare card, so you can have yeah. a different Medicare number now. Uh -huh. um, and you want to have a good list of your medications, and also an idea of if there's an issue. What was that issue? What's causing you anxiety or stress about any of the plans for Medicare that you're mm -hmm. on? Um, I just want to make a blanket statement and say that they would help with anything. Oh, yeah. And um, if you're calling for somebody else, yeah, you need to have those kinds of, right. um, that kind of information available. Another thing that's very important is you got to have the address that Social Security uses oh, yeah. um, down to the, you know, the zip code right. because it's all about keeping confidential and yeah. we definitely want that to happen but you got to have the right information to tap in even to your own stuff right okay well now we're uh, we've got about three minutes left but mm -hmm. you know another important aspect about Medicare is they would like to catch health issues yep. before they happen that's called prevention and every year we can have a, a visit with our uh, physicians right. office and tell us more what prevention is all about well you know I just it, it warms my heart I've worked <laughs> with Medicare for many many years Years, and in the last decade, they've really started looking at what can we do proactively. Mm -hmm. So there's a welcome to Medicare physical. There's a annual mm -hmm. physical that you do each uh, each year. Um, I want to stress that physical is not the yeah. same as the camp physical. Right. It's you're talking to your doctor and making baseline. Um, he he or she is making baseline discoveries to help down the road right. and what prevention uh, issues um, are most important. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a woman, uh, you want to have mammograms, um, you want to have pap smears, um, men, is, uh, all the women too, the colonoscopies and mm -hmm. things that can save your life if right. you have them done on a regular basis um, and that's what this is all about is let's make sure that we're seeing folks on a regular basis looking at baseline things to help them not be so ill later right exactly mm -hmm. and then you prevent it I mean the person's happy but the cost of the plans are the same yeah and right. I mean I hate to talk about that but it's yeah. the truth yeah the truth is that the better we do with prevention the more healthy financially Medicare is going to be. Going to be, you know, and the ship counselors are uh, staffed out of area agencies That's on right. aging. When you visit them, there's other programs you might be Absolutely. eligible for. You can run over some yeah, of them. Yeah, I mean, quickly? you know, you might want Meals on Wheels. You might um, need respite. You might. There might be something. Um, you know, we get questions all the time from people who want to be caregivers. How do I yeah. do that? Mm -hmm. You know, any kind of question that you have like that. Give us a call, one of the area agencies mm -hmm. in your area, um, and ask. And if they don't do it, they will figure out where yeah. you need to go to do it. One-stop shopping, yep, we call yep. it. No wrong door. <laughs> okay. Well, Kimmy, thank you so much Absolutely. for coming on the show and uh, informing us about that. And for our viewers, you know, I hope we planted some seeds in your mind. Uh, start looking at how Medicare plans that you chose December 31st is meeting your needs now three months into the year. And call the 800 number if they can change. It. For Aging Horizons, I'm Brian Lamore. Thank you for joining us. Special thanks to the Department of Public Health and Human Services for their continued support. Hosts on Aging Horizons are program specialists at the Montana Office on Aging. Production facilities provided by Video Express Productions. For more information about Aging Horizons, call the Department of Public Health and Human Services toll-free at 800-332-2272.